Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another first try. My name is Nick and today we are going to take a look at Top Hat, an action platformer developed by N94 Games, which is a Polish indie studio. Well, that is one sentence that basically says it all. <laughs> so before we go into the game, we take a look at the options menu first. There we have different sliders for sound, music and other. I don't know what other is, but it is muted per default and I don't dare to touch it in any way, shape or form. Because of my frightened PC user. Right? Whatever. Uh, if you choose keyboard here, you can rebind most of these keys. And if you choose you can rebind almost every key, every button, in fact, of the joypad here as well. What is a little bit confusing is that it says button 1, but I think it has to be defined by yourself, you know. Do you want uh, Xbox controller specific controls or should it be as neutral as possible? I think both ways are good, to say the least. The majority will use Xbox controllers, but if someone uses a PlayStation controller, he might have a equal good time configuring the controls here. We can also Take a look at the joystick sensitivity. I think 60 is basically the best here for me. And you can resize our screen. Basically, there are the options full screen, the natural resolution, and other stuff. So, we start off with a new game and we're going to pick an easy game. I will play it with a controller. Because, in my opinion, platformers are better played with a controller nowadays. Sure, there are some exceptions to that, but yeah. So we take easy. And here we go with the story. So that's a basic story, you are in your house, someone comes in, a bad bad thief, and steals your golden top hat, and you have to reclaim it, therefore you have to fight your way out of here, at first. Also you hear mysterious voices in your head that say to tell you what to press in which situation. So here we go. What I might have also noticed is that the dialogue is quite good, quite well translated. I sure expect it was. And there are obstacles that deal damage to you. Um, oh, come on. Also, then there are secret areas within the levels. And as always, in most all the platformers, if you collect 100 of these coins, you will get a level up. So, 
Sweet Guns are activated here. Also you can find extra lives floating around in the levels. So... That's not too shabby. So... And we won the runs. So basically the first few levels are relatively easy. Each chapter contains of three levels and a boss fight. And there are seven chapters. I've played it to um, 3.3. Where it is going to get quite a lot harder. But not unbeatably hard. So, as we progress through here, we come close to the first boss fight. What I have to say so far is that the boss design is relatively simplistic. The first two bosses don't have really that much to worry about. I don't know if that changes on hard mode, I assume it does. And yeah. There we go, the first boss is speed. <coughs> and we are out. Of here. What I've also have to mention is that the graphic style and the music is relatively good in my opinion. There's nothing to be sniffed at. Also, the enemy variety within the first two to three levels is quite okay, in my opinion. There are a lot of different enemies that try to make your heart, your heart here, your heart go on, and so on. Mostly on the own, given here. Ah, oh, that make your life a little bit hard. So. Here we have our first uh, little quest here. As you can imagine, if your HP, which is the more left bar, the red bar, drops to zero, you die. And we spawn at the checkpoint. Thank you for the extra life here. And you will lose one life. There are no safe slots in this game except for one. And yeah, that might turn out as a problem because it also saves uh, your amount of current lives and if you say if you stumble across one save point at any time with one life you will start off the game with said one life which makes playing the game through um, a lot more difficult than it otherwise would be So the question I suppose now is, is it difficult 
due to it being so unforgivable with the damage? Or is it simply just difficult because of the design decisions that were made? And I'd have to say that... I'd say it, would, it is because of those design decisions. It's difficult for the wrong reasons. Ah, that kills me. Cool. So today I learned I can't stop on those things. Good to know. I'm trying to get here through as fast as possible now. And so yeah, the game says it's difficult, but we'll have to see, is it difficult because of hard enemies? Is it difficult because of the platforming or is it difficult because of the sand decisions that were made obviously deliberately just to make it seem difficult? And in my opinion, the latter is the case. So it's just difficult because it was made difficult due to design decisions and not actual um, genuine challenge here. I mean, not to discredit the level design or the enemy design in any way shape or form, but I don't know. I don't really know. I I really would say that it, I consider it difficult for the wrong reasons, not because I find the platforming extremely difficult and you have to be really precise about it. It's just <laughs> okay. It's just that. For example, you don't have any um, checkpoints with the levels getting longer and longer. I mean, I've read um, that in chapter 4. Fart. Fart. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. I've read that in chapter 4 the levels will be separated in two parts because of the length. And yeah. What I've also asked myself is, I have, I've had a checkpoint over there, not the one at the start, so why, it, why is it over there anyway, if it can't spawn? on this checkpoint here. I don't really know. <clears throat> so might be a relic of the development time here. Often pr pr uh, difficult words today. Previously made design decisions such as yeah we allow spawning at save points. So, second boss fight. And after that I would say we wrap it up. This is a little bit of a tedious fight here because I have to jump up here to hit him once. And it goes on and on and on and on and on. So the platforming here is more the challenge than the actual boss mechanics themselves. themselves. Yeah. Whatever. And so I shoot him down. So yeah, as you can see, it is it is on easy on normal. He also have. He also shoots homing missiles and he deals quite a lot of damage. Oh no, that was. Fun. 
And one more shoot. Whatever. Ah, he also shoots some homing missiles there. Didn't notice that. And he goes down, and we get our third ammunition. Ooh, platforms. Question is, can I walk back as well? No. on I will quit with the words it's too hard for me <laughs> no so basically I've seen the carpet is relatively simplistic the animal variety is relatively big the boss design is relatively simple the platforming is so far not that difficult maybe it will get a bit more difficult later on and yeah I've, I haven't found really that many major problems here in this game. So the question, I suppose, is... Can I recommend it? Well... <laughs> it's really hard to say. Um, I have to say I'm fairly impressed by the effort. But considering that I... That apart from achievements, there's not a lot of free play value in this game, and I've made it to 3.3 in 20 to 25 minutes on normal mode, which basically means that the entire game takes you about one and a half to two hours. Might wanna make you think: Is it worth the 10 euros they ask? Basically, apart from the price, I have to say that the game is relatively good and you should pick it up, but in my opinion, you should wait for a sale to get the maximum value out of the game. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, my name has been Nick. Top Hats was the game of the day and it is available on Steam for 10 euros or your original equivalent. And made it first try. And with that said, I shall see you next time.